Welcome back to the pregame show. The baseball season doesn't end in August. As horrible and painful as last weekend's four-game debacle against the Red Sox was for the Yankees, their season didn't die in Boston. Their deficit in the division has changed, changed drastically because of the Fenway fiasco. But again, the season hasn't ended. There's almost two months of baseball remaining, which doesn't mean I'm saying the Yankees can overtake the Red Sox. But it does mean they can improve their narrative, throw some overdue punches as they cling to the first wild card spot. For the Yankees to qualify for the postseason and advance deep into October, they can't play in the same sluggish manner that they have while going 21 and 20 across their last 41 games. There have been too many defensive lapses, something as basic as Glaber Torres failing to cover a base. And there's been an absence of timely hits, like, for instance, a run scoring single from Greg Bird. And the starters haven't been routinely durable either, so more quality starts are desperately needed. And even the Yankees' intimidating bullpen has sputtered, including Aroldis Chapman's meltdown in the worst loss of the season last Sunday. Problems? Yes. Correctable problems? Absolutely. The Yankees should forget about the Red Sox for now, because to even dream about achieving their lofty goals, and as Aaron Boone said, embracing greatness, the Yankees must fix themselves. If the Yankees don't play a cleaner and more consistent brand of baseball, nothing else will matter. To feel more confident about themselves, the Yankees need to pile up some wins and regain their swagger. And that's where the softer than Charmin schedule is a significant factor. The Yankees are in the midst of playing 27 games in which their opponents have combined to win about 41% of their games. If we prorate that across a full season, the Yankees will be opposing the equivalent of 67 win teams. A 67 win club should be stomped. After having recurring nightmares about Betts, Ben and and the first place Red Sox, the Yankees can now focus on subduing the White Sox, which they already did, the Rangers, the Mets, the Jays, the Marlins, the Orioles, the Tigers, and even the Rays, the one credible team in this bunch of gimme games. So far, as I said, the Yankees are 3-0 and in this crucial stretch, having swept the White Sox. After an embarrassing weekend, the Yankees awakened on Monday to a new opportunity because of this generous spate of games. The Yankees can give themselves new life by simply winning the games they're supposed to win. Lots of them. Most of them. The season hasn't ended, but the Yankees must perform like a team that believes that.